These works by political cartoonist Ahmad Hajjaj speak for people throughout the Arab world who are suspicious of America's real intentions in Iraq. But in today's Jordan, overt political statements are often too sensitive for his editors, and his cartoons are spiked. This also was not published. Talking about replacing uh, a dictator with another, Saddam Hussein, replaced by George W. Bush. Ahmad fears the climate of censorship is getting worse. Yes. And, and I think it somehow was encouraged by the Americans. The latest uh, amendment uh, put on the publication law uh, was put after September 11th. For the sake of fighting terrorism, they are putting more pressure on the, on the, on the uh, press. It is an American plane trying to hit the Twin Palms of Baghdad instead of the Twin Towers of New York. Despite American claims of bringing democracy to the region, many Jordanians believe American pressure on their government is having the opposite effect. In Jordan, we, have, uh, we used to have a good uh, democratic experiment. Unfortunately, in the past uh, few years, this democratic uh, experiment is going down and down and down. We, we are uh, two years till now without a parliament. The unions of Jordan are very much uh, controlled by the government. The opposition figures uh, have been put to jail many times. The Kingdom of Jordan is squeezed between Israel and Iraq, and the politics of this country are now crucial to Western interests in the Middle East. In an attempt to get the population to support its Western-oriented policies, including tacit support for the war, the Jordanian government has launched a PR campaign Jordan first. The architects of the plan are the young technocrats that form King Abdullah's government, including influential planning minister Basim Awadallah. As we are moving ahead to make sure that our national front is united, that we do have a civil society that is modern, that is vibrant, and that is uh, carrying forward the process of modernization, it was necessary to make sure that the domestic agenda of social, economic, and political reform take precedence over the regional considerations. But it's not an easy sell. These Western-educated young professionals should be natural supporters of the government and the Jordan First policy, but they're not. The mural they're here to unveil will serve as a lasting expression of their opposition. The people gathered here are members of the Professional Association, a union of engineers, doctors and lawyers who campaign for civil society. But with American troops now entrenched in Baghdad, association members meeting inside are reassessing the shape their protest should take now. One of the association's leading members is dentist Hisham Bustani. He has two clinics, one here in the upmarket part of Amman, where he makes his money, and the other here in Baka, a very different environment. It's the largest Palestinian refugee camp in the world. And people are living here, uh, maybe families of uh, regularly six to ten people. Uh, for each house. Hisham has been jailed four times for his activism. Like people throughout this region, his opposition to the US-backed Israeli occupation of Palestine is central to his political stance. But he can only watch in despair as his government forges closer economic relations with both countries. The interest of Jordan does not lie with the United States and it does not lie 
with Israel. We don't see Israel as a normal entity. It's an aggressor. It has been established over the destruction and devastation and expulsion of millions of people. We don't see that it's ethical to connect to this sort of, of, of entity. This is to show grief on the uh, civilian people killed in Palestine and in Iraq. But instead of showing grief, the Jordanian government have set up free trade zones here, funded with Israeli capital. They uh, invest in free zones, okay? They get cheap Jordanian labor, unorganized, okay? And then they export to the United States quota free, they make lots of money, they don't pay tax, okay? And then at any time, they can this is, this is an item of the law. They can take their capital and move away. The only benefit, it's a pseudo benefit, it's a fake benefit, it, that it, it reduces unemployment, but at what cost? Palestine is a perennial problem for the Jordanian government. It's an issue so important to people here that it drives many to radicalism, or at least opposition to America for its open support of Israel. An hour's drive from Amman, the town of Jarash is mourning the loss of one of its sons. 23-year-old Bilal had only recently graduated from university as an accountant when he boarded a jihadi bus headed through Syria and then on to Iraq to support the resistance. But after crossing the border, the buses were blown sky high as the first bombs dropped. This is the bedroom Bilal shared with his brother. Bilal came here. He was in the office of Bilal. 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 Bilal's death passed without public protest or fanfare. Fanatical anti-Americanism is not a sentiment the government is ready to tolerate or encourage. The death of Tariq Ayyub was different. The day before Saddam Hussein's regime fell, the Jordan Times, an Al Jazeera Baghdad correspondent, was hit by an American shell. The government chose not to try and stop the public outpouring of grief. Tarek was respected and well liked, and like everyone here, dentist Hisham Bustani believes he was targeted by the Americans. But Al Jazeera and all independent media is being targeted, is being killed to silence the independent information that has been uh, leaking uh, on the U.S. atrocities. We are very angry. This was the first demonstration in Amman allowed by the government since huge anti-war marches at the beginning of the war were violently suppressed. This march was held after Friday prayers, traditionally a time for Muslims to vent their anger. Now with Iraq occupied, and after strict warnings from the government about a repeat performance, the demonstrations have ceased. Nowadays after prayers, the streets of the capital are quiet. If wealthy, Western-educated Jordanians oppose the government's pro-U.S. and pro-Israel policies, then it's no surprise that Islamists like Jamil Abu Bakr do too. He's the deputy leader of Jordan's Islamic Action Front, the most influential party of opposition to the government and to their support of America. ولا بقتل المدنيين ولا بالاحتلال العسكري 
ولا تأتي رغما عن أهلها الديمقراطية يمكن تتولد بإرادة الناس وبرغبتهم ومن خلالهم When he's not at the mosque, he's at party headquarters where a series of educational seminars are held. This group today are learning about Islamic architecture in Israel. But with my presence, the lecture takes a more political turn. Which is targeted by Sharon, the friend of the Australians. Australia is the newcomer now. I mean, Mr. Howard only. Not the people of Sydney, of Melbourne, Canberra. They are friends, we are all the children of Adam, and we appreciate the Australian people. But it is the problem of Howard, who is the hand of Mr. Bush. But members of the Islamic Action Front know that their own government invited the American soldiers to enter Iraq from Jordan. It's a move that's totally out of step with popular sentiment. But there's little people here can do to stop it. نعم صحيح وهذا موقف للحكومة ونحن والشعب الأردني يرفض تماما هذا الوجود بل يدين وهو لا يمثل موافقة الشعب الأردني على الوجود الأمريكي في الأردن فهناك اختلاف بين موقف الشعب وقناعته وإيمانه والحكومة والحكومة كما تعلم ليست حكومة شعبية منتخبة We are making no excuses at all about the special kind of relations that we have with the United States However they are relations built on mutual respect and on mutual understanding of, uh, of the common interests that we and the United States have for this region. Jamil Abu Bakr says that now the first phase of the war in Iraq is over, dissenting voices in Jordan, particularly those of political Islam, are about to experience even less tolerance and more pressure to fall into line with the government's position. والله إحنا الضغط موجود منذ زمن ومنتوا واحتمال أن يزداد هذا الضغط في المرحلة القادمة وخاصة أن هذا الضغط أيضا سيكون مرحبا به من قبل أمريكا وحلفائها. There is no crackdown and there is no concern. If the Islamic Action Front represents a certain uh, a stratum in, in, in Jordanian civil society, so be it. We are democratic. And the whole essence of democracy is to respect the other's point of view, regardless of how different or how close it is to yours. I haven't heard many people saying that claiming that Jordan is a, is a true democracy. Well, we do not claim to be perfect. You know, far from it. You know, this is why we have a process of political reform. We do know that there are restrictions on the press. We do know that there are restrictions on civil liberties. Now, we are moving uh, under the leadership of His Majesty in order to ensure that we go forward with a process of political reform. The Jordanian government is caught in a bind. It wants to reach out to the West to avoid the economic damage caused by their not supporting the Americans in the first Gulf War. But the majority of its people do not support their stand. They oppose the invasion of Iraq, they oppose links with Israel, and they deeply resent the Arab world's ever-increasing loss of dignity and control over its own destiny. Uh, the runway is outlined is shaped just like the, the map of the Arabic world. Our uh, homeland is becoming just a mili military base for the Americans to do whatever they like to do. This is the future the Americans have for us, this is what I think. The Kingdom of Jordan seems to have accepted this fate as their future. Ahmad Hajjaj says the potential economic benefits of selling out to the West are no substitute for the loss of political freedom. Why, why shouldn't the focus be on improving the, the economy, which will then improve the daily lot of, of the Jordanian people in the, if, if it's successful. But at the same time, you have to give a space to people to talk for themselves. It's, it's, uh, I think it is yani, uh, to, have, uh, to have the freedom to talk, it is, it is equal to, to your need to, to eat sometimes. Mm -hmm. All of them are important. You cannot, see, you cannot say that bringing, uh, uh, making a good economy in Jordan is more important than having a real democracy in Jordan. Jamil Abu Bakr goes even further. He believes that this lack of democratic freedom in Jordan and throughout the Arab world has helped the Americans succeed in their invasion and occupation of Iraq. 
ونؤكد ايضا انه على جميع الحكومات العربيه وفي حكومتنا ان تستخلص العبر والدروس بضروره التفاهم مع الشعوب والاصطلاح معها وتوسيع الديمقراطيه والمشاركه الشعبيه في اداره شؤون البلاد حتى لا تقع نفس الكوارث